Cześć, z tej strony to i na samym początku chciałbym Was zaprosić na dmarket.com, gdzie możecie kupić lub sprzedać skin do CSGO. Żeby dokonać jakiejkolwiek transakcji na stronie musicie założyć konto, a później powiązać się z Waszym Steamem. Jeśli chcecie sprzedać swojego skina, to najpierw musicie zdepozytować go na stronie, a następnie ustalać jego ceny. Gdy już uda Wam się go sprzedać, to zarobione pieniądze możecie przeznaczyć na zakup jakiegoś innego skina lub po prostu wypłacić sobie dostępne środki na Paypala. Link do stronki znajdziecie w opisie, a ja Was zapraszam do oglądania. As Rux sits oh. back sight, nice spin move to get a second kill as well, but it will still produce a one on three. And I'm all out of plain puns, do not expect any more from this game. It's going to be knocking a one on two now as he picks up the kill on Neo. It's about to be a dogfight in this A bomb site now as we see Pasha coming in with the flank, and knock will be pinched between a rock and a hard place. Does make that initial contact, picks up the Ollie. No idea where Pasha is, not able. Pasha! Not able to pick up the kill on knock behind. Knock with the 180. Finds the pistol round. He's gonna come out on top. Now Paper Planes came into their first match of the season in the game prior to this, and they picked up the win after a really strong first half start, 13-2 over Vexed Gaming. They hmm. sort of let that slip away and ended up finishing up at 15-10. So here they go towards the B site. There's a smoke down and It looked like it was going to work out well for the CT side. It still falls down to a three on three. The DP has managed to pick up a couple kills despite the fact that they are working with just pistols, no armor. The Molly kind of bounces weird and doesn't land as deep as maybe me who wanted it, but he'll still nice be able to molly. delay the push coming out. A good Molly pushes him in towards the back of the site, and it will fall onto me who was just an ump. It's a 1v2, and the Molly kind of pushes him just a little bit further and gives a clue as to where he's hiding. VP with another bomb plant, though, will get some extra money to spread around in the round that follows. Brox makes his way into the site here. He has a Molotov as well. Let's see what he does. Able to take one. down one. DP's now going to be moving into the bomb site. It's a three on two, but there's a member from the CT side sitting on the site. It's pretty ass. The bomb's going to get dropped here. Oh. Great play as well. It's going to be a one on one. It's Pasha against Kriaz. The bomb is on site. 40 seconds left. Pasha has time to play with the clock. He's got the op, but he's got to keep his head on a swivel, constantly looking, checking all angles. The man sitting quad tries to hit the flick. It's a 4K. VP has something to work with here. But not with Knock holding down that AP on the A site. He's been pretty solid at slowing down the pushes. Even when they gain control of mid, he's there to keep them from really getting too far up highway. And now he's going to head towards quad box. There's two players in A main. Viali and Mihu. They have the bomb, but... That's not really going to be easy to get past. In fact, the second player gets winged by the op. It's Bialy now on 16 HP, left in a clutch scenario. It's really interesting, the dedication from Virtus Pro. Oh. And yeah, there's still that potential that they show up at a land and they just, all, they just play like the old VP. It's sort of that, like, flip of the coin. You never know which VP you're going to get, but it does seem like lately it's landing on the and opposite side. they still have side. great marketability. Yeah, that's also true. Either way. All speculation aside, oh. the second half has begun. Neo gets gushed. Pasha goes down. This round's coming up all paper planes as Snacks is the only one left and he gets gobbled up. Om nom 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 nom. Have any margin for error? They do start out the round really strong, taking down three and now a fourth as well. Not a single casualty until Viali gets sprayed through the door. That AK 47 eventually finding a casualty and there's oh. Pasha connecting through the wall. Take a seat. His game as of right now is he's sitting at the top of the charts. Pasha and Bialy oh. in a two on two. Oh, and look at this two on three, and they've snuck the bomb onto the site. They don't even know it. Pasha's here. Can he deny it by any chance? He tries to sneak in. Oh nice my no God. scope. That actually tags Zara yeah. down to 57. Unfortunately, it didn't do as much damage as he probably thought, so he's going to sneak back out, trying to spot the info. Thank Gets God. a second shot anyway. So again, this is oh a winnable scenario. God. It comes down to one. It's a one on two. Pasha is so low on HP that it puts Bialy awesome. into the pressure position. I mean, Adam picks up the first one, knows exactly where Bialy is, not getting aggressive on it. Isn't able to convert on it, Mark. And VP get themselves a 10. 
I mean, this is kind of looking like the previous game where Paper Planes just consistently flubbed. So this is this is the part where ooh, it gets scary. Look at this, five men into that B bomb site, Mark. All they have to do is get bomb in. Everybody else can stay out, but the aggression from Adam, the only AK, pushes spawn. They do recover an M4, and they get themselves another kill. This oh, look at this flank hold too. Knox got oh, a free geez. kill on the snacks. This round is falling apart. It's looking like it's gonna be their round unless again they somehow manage to let this one slip away. It'll be Pasha, one on three. Good luck, sir. I wish you the best of luck, but this seems unwinnable. Game In fact, over. It is. Smoke for cross. The T's have flooded into A. The full retake is on now. BP towards that B bomb site. Two men flanking as Snacks and Neo making their way through that garage, coming around towards the A main. Clarity now into the post plan situation. They do have two members ready to defend as Rusty as well as Barbar playing towards that A main now. A good decoy coming up from Barbar. You should see the double peak. Both of them dropping as Snacks and Neo go down very quickly. That's the flank handled. And now Bialy trying to make something happen as he takes down Rusty, but Plopsky taking down Bialy leaves Mihu as well as Pasha to win this round. Mihu finding two of his own now. Pasha getting taken down towards that quad by Hugo. And Mihu is going to run away with that smoke. Finds himself one, two, and that's four on the round. But it is the round going to Singularity regardless. So he's going to make his way under boost. Pasha coming in as well to help him out. Couple smokes, nice Molotov as well coming up from Pasha. That's actually gonna burn him away, and he's down to 52 on top of that nade. The T side is moving on to that A bomb site, however. Bialy finding one onto Rusty, finds a second onto Barbar. Mihu coming in, and Bialy's got three on the round, looking for a fourth here. And he's gonna move around Forklift as Neo comes in to finish him up. Bialy with the assist on that, but a 3k from Bialy on the round, and VP. A very, very strong second round on the board. Towards that vent, yep, here it comes. Might be able to pick up the kill here onto Babar. There it is. Evening it out at a 3v3. That's T's moving over towards that B bomb site. Miu actually getting that spot out. He's going to get caught in between a rock and a hard place. Snacks does pick up the kill, but he's on one HP. Finding one more and a third on the round. Nice Molotov into the vents here. It's going to keep Neo from pushing out now. Popsky now moving his way out. Of that B-bomb site and to check to be able to find one. No, he goes down and that's going to leave Barbar in the 1v2 situation. He does have a flashbang. What can he do with it? Takes one. Bialy with a quick trade and that is it. VP finished the half with five rounds. Not a bad half. They do end up salvaging it. It was five gun rounds in a row. However, I mean, singularity, they could show complete dominance. Presence known. He's going to be peaking and does get take, taken down by Rusty. While that's happening, Hugo is flanking around. So the terrorists do need to pick up the pace here. As Plopsky now drops the stack here into a 3v5. Bialy and Mihu finding two of their own here. As Benji and Rusty both fall. But yet again, that flank coming in from Hugo towards that squeaky door. He's going to find one with very little HP. We could see Singularity going for a save. Oh, Barbar, the 180 flick while blind back onto Snacks' head. It's going to be Hugo solo onto that B-bomb site. The T's have already moved in. It's going to be one going Hugo's way now. That smoke in front of him gives him a little bit of space here. It does look like the terrorist control towards middle. They are going to boost back up into those vents. We are going to see Bialy make his way up towards that highway and onto the A-bomb site. Neo finding one that kind of commits to the cause now. And finding Benji in spawns. So they know exactly where Hugo is. And Neo, he's not even going to wait. He finds the frag down in B now. That's going to allow the T's to move in ever so slightly onto that B bomb site. Get that bomb down. And hopefully come out with this post plan situation. Farbar with the long flank now. Benji coming to rotate in and help out his teammate in Plopsky. Barbar actually has his Molotov as well. I'm surprised he didn't use that while the uh, T's were planting. And actually, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to fall back to that Sunny. Here comes the Molotov in from Barbar. That's going to drop into default box. 
Hosh is like, oh my god, what is happening right now? They're getting Molly to the back. The wide swing from Neo. Slopsky, come on, find something. Picks up one. Barbar swinging in. It's left to Neo. The clutch master, unable to do it as Singularity, actually don't have time. And Neo comes out with the round. BP clinched that needed 15th round. Benji with the smoke in hand does drop it in front of that default area. Give him a little bit of breathing room now. Barbar with a massive kill, and we could be going to overtime right now. As the clock has hit 50 seconds, the T just making their way out into that A bomb site. Snacks flashed in a corner. Another kill going the way of Rusty as Benji and Hugo turn this into a one on four. Neo, the final member, and he too goes down. It's caught. That's twice now. That boost has not worked out for the CT team. Yali finding one through the smoke keeps this even at a 3v3 now. The rotation coming in from Neo, dropping that nade and doing a little bit more damage as well. Almost finding something through that smoke, unable to, but the flank is starting to develop for Snack. Moving in through that A main here, while Bialy looks on towards that toxic barrel. Some good damage coming up from Neo. They know exactly where Barbar is. That's going to make it easier for Snacks to pick up a kill. Now that nade coming out, not doing anything here. And Farbar staying alive just a little bit longer in that smoke. Still alive. There it is. The knife takes him down and VP close out this round. 19-15 is our scoreline. A hard-fought victory for the Polish side.